Whoa. <laughs> Wait, this is actually really comfortable. <gasps> oh. Have you ever wanted something, looked at your bank account, and then realized, nope, that's not happening. That's something we can all relate to. I remember growing up asking for gaming consoles and got a belt instead. Anyways, something I wanted to try for a while is virtual reality. It looks super fun, but usually super fun also means super expensive. However, to my surprise, the Oculus Rift S is actually only $399. Now me personally, I'm good with that price. However, we still need a gaming PC to use this thing. So I started thinking, okay, so we spent $399 on an Oculus Rift S. How much will a gaming PC cost so that we can have fun with it? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how little you can spend to get into VR gaming. Okay, so right now I am setting a hard rule on myself. Since we wanna keep the cost down and keep this interesting, I am not allowed to spend more money on the gaming PC than I spent on the Oculus Rift S, which should be pretty difficult considering there are people who drop $1,000 on a gaming PC alone. So before I go looking for parts to build this PC, we need to know the minimum level of performance this system is gonna to need to output to support VR gaming. Okay, so if we take a look at Oculus's website and check out the recommended specifications for the system that we need to build, if you take a look at the processor, we need to have at least a four core four thread processor, that is what the i5-4590 is. If we take a look at the graphics card, you'll see that is actually pretty demanding. It's asking for a GTX 1060 or an RX 480. And in case you don't know, those graphics cards go for around $200 at retail price. So that is half of the budget that we're trying to restrain ourselves to. And then if you look down at the RAM, we actually only need eight gigabytes of RAM, which should be fairly easy to do. I'm definitely concerned about the graphics card because it really is gonna be difficult to fit that into our budget, but I think we should be able to do it. So now that we have a good idea of what we need, we just need to go get it. So right now I'm gonna go on Craigslist, offer up Facebook Marketplace, Let Go, Mercari, every possible secondhand site and service I can find and see what kind of computer we can build. Wow, that literally took me an hour. Okay, so the first that we have lined up is actually an entry-level gaming PC. It comes with everything except for a graphics card as well as a hard drive. But importantly, inside that PC is 8 gigabytes of RAM as well as a processor called the Ryzen 3 2200G, which has four cores, four threads, and a similar clock speed to the processor that they listed in the recommended requirements. The second deal we have lined up is for our hard drive. Now it's actually an SSD and it has about 240 to 250 gigabytes of space. And lastly, the graphics card. I'm honestly a little bit surprised with how lucky this is, but one of the recommended cards was an RX 480 and someone literally posted an hour ago an RX 480 for sale. Now, they were asking $120. However, like everything else that I've mentioned previously, we were able to negotiate it for a little bit less. So we're actually about to go head up and pick up the parts now and you will see in a second just how cheap this computer is gonna be. Oh, hello. Good, how are you? Okay, no worries. All right, oh. so $30, all right, 10, 20. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Yes, tested and working perfectly. Perfect. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good rest of the day. Hey, you guys want to sell the PC? Yeah. How's it going? Sorry about that. My service is ass. No, you're fine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Chris. No, nice to meet you. Mind if I, he's the muscle, I see. Yeah. I see. <laughs> so you mind if we take a look at it? Yeah, go for it. Here, let's just set it over here. Bad cable management. No, it's all good. Um but everything including the wire for the hard drive. Okay. 20, 40, 60. Go ahead, kill it. Thank you. Um, yep, all done. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, Noah. You too. Have a good rest of the day, guys. How's it going? Pretty good. All right, let's see. So 20, 40, 60, 80? Yeah. And then, all right, cool. All right, sounds good. Appreciate it, man. Have a rest of the day. Okay, so that should be everything. We have our SSD, graphics card, the computer's in the back, and it's a grand total 
of $270, which is way under what I expected to pay for a VR gaming computer. So now we just have to take it all home and hope that it works. Okay, so we have everything back here. The computer, which has beautiful cable management, I might add, the solid state drive and the graphics card. So now let's just quickly slap this thing together and cross our fingers. Okay, moment of truth. Is that sound? Whoa! Okay. I don't like the neat, neat, neat sound. We'll have to figure out what's causing that. Okay, so figure out the problem. Uh, this RX 480 does, in fact, work. However, it does have a mining BIOS installed onto it, so it's not gonna work without me doing a little bit of troubleshooting. So in order to save some time, I actually swapped this card out with another RX 480 that I have here. This is still usable in case you wanna figure out how to fix something like this. I do have a video on the subject called, I believe, I bought an old mining rig, something of that sort. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead. But uh, for the time being, we have the system, it does work. So what we're gonna do now is take a look at the Oculus Rift S. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, wow. Wait, this is like super quality packaging. Whoa, it's the future. Okay, so this is the headpiece. Let me try this on. So this is the cable. It is, oh, it's display port and USB. So this goes into your graphics card then. Whoa. <laughs> wait, this is actually really comfortable. No, I'm not even just saying that because this is sponsored, but wait, this is actually so comfy. Wait, this feels good. Okay, I actually like this. I don't know, I, I don't know if you guys have had any experience with like previous Oculus products, but my friend has one of these and I don't think he has the S, he definitely doesn't have the S one. Um, this one feels, how do I, what's the word? This one feels a lot more ergonomic than the last one. I'm usually not a fan of like ergonomic keyboards or mice, but I can tell that they actually put work in that make the headset more comfy. I actually like this. It feels like a neck pillow except on your head. Huh. Okay, so these are the Oculus touch controllers. These actually feel super cool. I like these. I kind of, I've seen Beat Saber. I haven't played it yet, but this really makes me want to play it. <laughs> I actually really like, I really like the trigger system on these things. Obviously really easy for the index finger, but then right down here on the side for the middle finger, these feel super cozy. I don't like, there's no, is, is ergonomic the right word? I just like the way this feels. Okay, well, now that we've unboxed it and we checked it out, everything looks and feels pretty good. Let's actually set it up. I'm so excited on the play games. Oh, I didn't even realize. Wait, the touch controllers need batteries and they included batteries. Wait, they actually thought of everything. Oh my God, wait. Oh, and they have adapters too. Yo, this product is off the chain. I don't even say that, but actually this is such a good product. Okay, so everything is set up and ready to go, except for the Oculus Rift S, so we're gonna get that plugged in now and see if we can get to start playing some games. Okay, so I've spent the last 20 minutes making sure that everything is set up and ready to go. For you guys, what you're gonna have to do if you choose to buy this, which I will let you know whether or not I think you should after we're done messing with it, um, you need to go to oculus.com forward slash setup and it will prompt you to download the app. And if you have the Oculus app, it will install all the software and will update all the firmware for all your devices and make sure that everything's ready to go. And will also run you through the safety protocols. I have everything here ready to go and it says that I need at least three by three feet of space in order to play. So 
Y'all are gonna have to move because you're kind of in the way. As a matter of fact, if you guys could just, you know, get out of here. Okay, so we finally get to play some games and we're gonna be playing Super Hot VR, which is a game that looks very similar to The Matrix and that's exactly why we're playing it. I'm a huge fan of the series and I think VR is pretty much the closest I'm ever gonna get to living out that fantasy. So we're just gonna try right now and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so, uh, guys, don't catch the bullets. Boom! Oh, in the head. Cup of tea, son. Uh, have some more. Uh. Okay, my aim's bad, but this gun ain't. Boom! Gets. Oh. Brrr. Oh. Bullet hell, you know it, dude. Wait, what is this? Oh, die. <laughs> All right. Later. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Ooh. Is it supposed to be this easy? Dude, I'm steamrolling these kids. Oh, okay. Return. I don't want to return. I want this. Give me that shotgun. I got shot. You're kidding me. I'm a failure. All right, you know what? You know what? You know what is it? <laughs> you know what isn't a failure? This game, this, <laughs> actually, you know what? No, VR in general, this is insane. I didn't think this was going to be that immersive. This is actually a hell of a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be. I I'm gonna be honest. I thought VR was kind of a gimmick. That is a, dude. I want to play some more. No, no, no. Okay, okay. So we have to end the video here. I'm definitely going to play some more of this off camera. But, okay. Honest opinion, yes. I absolutely think you guys should get one of these. And as we've shown in this video, it's actually not that expensive to get yourself set up so that you can actually use it. There's plenty of money left in the budget to even get some more games. I know that's what I'm going to be doing it for. Um, but... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this creative, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form. Please check the link in the description to pick yourself up one of these because I promise if you don't have one, it's worth getting. And as always, have a great day.